Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me a photograph of this and asked how they would draw this top part. Uh, there's several ways to make the object, but we're just going to take a, let's take the three-point curve line and let's go from the middle down to that edge and then just kind of curve it. It's not going to be perfect, but we can always take the shape tool and bring that in and bring this up. And I'm not, for the video, I'm going to probably call that good enough because you can always tweak it more later or when you're doing it to get it kind of perfect. So now we're just going to take our picture out of the way. We have that basic shape. We're going to go ahead and normally I go to the center of the page, but don't really have to on this. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of this guy. And then while holding down the control button. So these two objects are not touching. They're not one piece. So they will blend. We're going to go to object blend. First of all, we're going to change them to a thicker line. Let's go. Let's make them black. And that might be a little bit too thick. There we go. And I just, I think this is going to work. So then just take the two objects, go up to effects and blend. And I'm just going to blend, let's blend uh, 18 times. Not quite enough, maybe up top. Uh, if you look at the, the photograph, these are uh, kind of like a all one piece of blur. Uh, so that could be line thickness or amount of blend. So let's back up here. Let's make them a little bit wider. It didn't change much. There we go. And then blend it again and you get that solid graphic looking thing. Now... I hadn't thought about this, but the way to maybe do this, uh, this is a line. So let's go to object and, well, we have to break the blend apart and we probably have to ungroup them. And then we could take them all, go to object and convert the outline to an object. We could left click, right click, and you notice that these are all kind of intermingled and, and they could actually be a little bit better. I wonder if we can't weld it. Did pretty good, Several. I have some parts that are uh, in the way. Let's kind of, let's start over. Let's put those lines maybe a little bit, uh, you know, even though they're not joined together. And you can't just move that one because it'll make it off. So what we could do is just uh, let's change our nudge factor. Let's go 0 0.001. And then we're going to click on that and zoom in. And just nudge it over a little bit. Try to get it kind of like a peak. That's pretty good. That might even help the situation. Now let's go back to the effects blend. Blend it that 18 times. And I think it looks a lot better and it does. But if we wanted that to be, you know, the same amount of lines kind of as that is, always remember when you blend something, you got to break the blend apart. And I always take them and then ungroup them. And then go to object, convert the outline to an object, and we can left click, right click. I'm not even saying this is really necessary, but see all these lines that are up there? Let's try... Now let's try welding them. And this might work because each one of these is a, a uh, separate line down at the bottom. We'll go ahead and make them black. I don't really think it changed anything. Uh, you know, if you need more, just thicker lines or, or more blends. But that's a pretty, pretty similar to what whoever drew this uh, in this fashion, uh, let's kind of look at it with a blue background. We'll actually use that black background. So I'm going to get the eyedropper tool, kind of get a blue from there, go up to object, order back a page, and then let's turn this white. 
So that's pretty pretty close to it. You could actually use thicker lines being at white now. And then you could just do whatever you want to uh, with the other part. The longer parts to me look like they would actually be easier. Uh, just, you know, draw a box with a, a peak on top and, and, and blend them together. Anyway, I hope that it helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.